right? So I had a gallery on uh, first in Soho, and then I moved to 57th Street with this artist, Raimundo Sesma of Mexico. Uh, I actually met him at a very important printing place in Milano because I was, uh, I was associated with uh, Grafica Uno, which printed a lot of the stuff for the Transavanguardia of Italy. So I, I represent them until 1988 when I closed my gallery. But in 1986, he participated in the Venice Biennial. I have some of the work. And this is contemporary with that time. At that time, at the Biennale, the Venice Biennale, you also had the Cuban, Juan Francisco Elso, that, uh, where this piece was there. I was taken by it because it's so much power and so much magic. Uh, it's just very inspirational. And so I actually, at the time, I acquired the, the works that were in the pavilion. Uh, eventually, uh, the uh, Acts of Shango, which was in that same place, uh, got co-opted by the museum, Museo Moderno de La Habana, and so they kept it. But I feel very lucky that I have this object, and I have uh, another one which is a big bird, it's uh, called the Pájaro que vuela sobre las Américas, and a couple of other pieces. So I'm very happy to have this object. I acquired it 30 years ago. And, it's, and it, has, it, it, it radiates the same magic as you see in the African piece that you see on that wall. So you can see the relationship between the magical aspects of that one and these two two magical pieces also, one traditional of Africa and one of the diaspora. So this kind of a, this exhibition contains uh, different elements of magic. Some is to reinforce con contracts that are being made. In any case, is to balance the environment and the people. Okay. Okay. Okay, my name is Duda Penteado. I'm a fine artist. I'm originally from Brazil. I've been around the block in New York for maybe 20 years now. But um, this is a very special artwork for a series called Glocalica. And it's a lot to do with uh, the roots of Brazil and how Brazil connects with the world. So what you see here is a flow, is a river that connects all this immigration to came to Brazil and how the whole Brazilian people mixed. And that might be perhaps because the Catholic roots and the Brazilian way, but um, uh, uh, Brazil today is one of the most mixed people around the world. So, uh, and, and then you see this whole ideal landscape and, and, and people and, and nature, which is and, and those trees and the roots who really brings back us to reflect about what we do in the 21st century, who we are as people. And, and the other important thing is, is how this piece fits in this incredible, incredible contemporary show about Caribbean and Latin American artists and, and, and bringing also the layer of African art here. We connect the whole thing about the new world, right? How we develop, who we became, what are our differences? So I'm, I'm so glad that Ray, with his great sensibility, were able to pick this piece to be in this exhibition. It reminds about the roots of Brazil, but also reminds about what we are as people around the world in the 21st century.
Eh, mi nombre es Chiqui Mendoza, eh, soy un artista de la República Dominicana. Este trabajo lo inicié en el 2004 y, y volví a retomarlo ahora en el 2016. El título de esta obra es eh, Un altar para papá Montero. Está un poco inspirado en, en los altares bizantinos, mezclado con, retomado desde el punto de vista de, de la africanidad y del vudú dominicano. En este cuadro hay una fragmentación de la imagen, es decir, también hay una inspiración en la, en la arquitectura de Frank Gehry. Es un desplazamiento de la, de la figura, el rostro va cambiando y hay un personaje alado, básicamente. La técnica es madera y pan de oro, acrílica, madera y pan de oro, medio mixtos. La obra está superpuesta en varios planos y, y la idea es transmitir la magia caribeña, básicamente.